So what are the five best exercises that you can perform for low back pain? Let's talk about that. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Nick Helton and I'm a physical therapist. If you're new to this channel, I make videos on injury rehab, exercises you can do at home and physical therapy in general. If any of that interests you, please feel free to subscribe for more content. It also helps me out in making these videos. Now, one of the most common questions that I get, what is the best exercise for my blank? I have this injury, what do I do, please help. And I have to be honest with you, the answer is there is no best exercise. There is no one exercise that will solve every problem, every injury for every person. It's just not how things work. Sorry to disappoint, but please don't click off the video. I've got five exercises that I think are extremely useful for dealing with low back pain and in general in dealing with symptoms that are originating in that area. Today what I want to do is talk about five exercises that you can perform on your own to try and help you move a little better and get a little stronger. The first exercise I'm going to put up on the screen is the hip hinge. Now with the hip hinge the name gives away what you're actually going to do. You're going to try to hinge with your hip joint as I'm kind of demonstrating here. The idea is if you can learn how to hip hinge, you're going to take a little bit of that pressure off your low back instead of flexing and bending with your spine, especially if you're picking up something a little heavier or doing any kind of axial load where you have sort of compressive forces going through the spine itself. Exercise number two is a sideline trunk rotation, and there's many variations of this. I'm gonna demonstrate one in the video here where my leg is on a foam roll and I'm really trying to rotate my upper back. The idea is we're trying to improve some mobility above the low back, so the thoracic spine or the upper back is connected to the low back, and sometimes if you're stiff in the above segments, that can lead to a little bit of stiffness in the lower segments. So a great way to work on that is the exercise I'm demonstrating here, where you're performing a rotational drill, trying to move the upper back in different directions. You can add some weight or bands here to make this exercise more difficult. Exercise number three is going to be similar to the hip hinge, except we're going to do it on one leg. Now the idea with this is one, you're going to challenge uh, one hip individually. You're also going to challenge hip extension. So as one, as I'm demonstrating here, as one leg um, starts to hinge, the other leg goes backwards. And the idea is you want to try to purely do that with your hips. You want to try and just get hip motion through this. And the great thing about this, the easy way to progress it is just add some weight. So you can hold some weight in one arm, both arms. You can use a barbell. It doesn't really make a difference, but it's a very easy exercise to sort of scale up. Exercise number four is the Superman. So this is a great one, more so for endurance. So we do like a strength endurance type movement here where you're trying to get into this Superman position and just hold it for as long as you can. What you're doing is you're working some of the small stabilizing muscles in the lumbar spine, and you're also getting lumbar extension, which is a sort of backwards motion, but try to hold this for as long as you can. Think of doing like a plank or things like that. Try to go for time and see if you can hold this position of lumbar extension. And finally, I've saved the best for last, which is exercise number five, and that is deadlifts. Now, there are a lot of schools of thought on deadlifts. Some people hate them and think that they're the reason for their back pain. Some people think it's the only thing you should do. Here's the thing. Think about your day, and I specifically mean that. Think about your actual day. Uh, is it often that you pick things up off the floor? Is it often that you have to grab something and carry it and move it to a different position? Uh, deadlifting is probably one of the most common things that we do outside of perhaps a squat or even an overhead reach. It is a foundational part of our day. Now it does not have to include a barbell. I'm going to show you a few techniques. You can use a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell, you can use a band. It doesn't really matter. But getting better at the deadlift is probably the best exercise, in my opinion, that you can utilize uh, for the best bang for your buck. You're getting hip strength out of it. You're getting lumbar spine extension out of it. You're also getting stabilization, if you want to call it that, in the spine. And it's a functional movement. And again, I don't like to use the term function because I think it's overused, but it's something that you have to do on a daily basis. So there you have it. Five exercises that can help you get stronger, move better, and can easily be progressed, regressed, or uh, changed over time to make them suit your individual needs. What exercises would you add? What did I miss? Feel free to throw it down in the comments below and let me know what you think should be added into this. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a direct message. I'm more active on Instagram. And please uh, leave a like for this video if you wanna see more of this type of content. It really helps me in making this content in general. And it shows me that this is the particular type of stuff that you guys like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it.